Hello everybody, welcome to Deluxe Collectibles, and today I'm going to be reacting to Lego Monkey Kid Season 3, Episode 8, Benched. I'm really excited for this episode, because I assume it's going to involve them trying to find the third Samadhi ring, and of course, what they think is going to be the final ring, but it may turn out to not be, of course, from what we've learned in previous episodes, but I'm super excited for this one. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it here and start it up in 3, 2, one. Alrighty, here we go. They're off once again. Let's see where they gotta go find this third Samadhi ring. I love all the drawings that MK has. Scissors right out, through his head. To make, but I'm like the coolest guy you know. No, you guys. are super cool. It hasn't changed a bit. Hasn't changed okay. a bit. Maybe it's changed a little. Maybe a bit. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. They're on, like, the pig-like uh, train. Oh, it definitely. It looks so big. <laughs> the Lego set just, like, hits, like, just the tip. I love his outfit. MK's face. So much for the rings being and merchandising secret. it as well, I see. <laughs> We're just gonna wander around till we stumble upon the ring. I love how they of bought like everything. It's in the giant lantern in the middle of the city. Hey, that's what I was going to say. How do you figure? Uh, There's a giant magic lantern in the middle of the city. Sandy looks so cool. <laughs> they all look so cozy as well. There you go, blue guy. You haven't said anything in a while. Read this. I can't read. Uh, I get stage fright or something. <laughs> Something. Join the talented citizens of Ooh, so that's pretty win, cool. His voice is like a choir of angels. Play the bang bang. Sandy, you're on base, obviously. I mean, obviously. Of course, of course. With way too many this, <laughs> Remember I said the whole stage fright thing is kind of a joke? Wasn't a joke? Not even a little bit. Uh, Sun Wukong, I can work with this. Wait, what? And Monkey King can play the guy. Wonderful. Oh. And the band. <laughs> Bit of a letdown for Tane right here. So that's how you're gonna beat the Lady Bone tonight. Ooh, Macaque. Ooh, okay, let's see. <gasps> they all look so cool. <laughs> I love that they're randomly here. Oh my god, she's here too. <laughs> all from the cooking episode. Okay, Tane's gonna go out on his own, try to take that rain, I guess. Ooh, they're really jamming out. <laughs> oh, poor Tane. Yeah, you're not useless, Tane. <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't have tried this. <laughs> I like how that's just an achievement in itself. Oh, no. He's smart. I mean, look at the guy, he's got glasses. Anyone knows where the legendary Oh, macaque. Trying to manipulate Tane a little bit there, eh? Oh, no. <laughs> that must have hit hard. Together? Remind me again exactly what it is you contribute to the team. Really, uh, diss it and Tane. You gonna have an epic moment here. Whoa, go Pigsy. That's some intense, uh, singing there. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Go, Tane. Get it. <laughs> now get out of there before Macaque can catch you. <laughs> Poor Macaque. Yeah, definitely worthy of a mic drop there. <laughs> oh, Monkey King. There is no way we didn't just win this thing. Oh no, yeah, catch that. <laughs> he is definitely gonna try to come for you guys. Oh no. Is he about to get, like, punished? Get in, uh, trouble? <laughs> oh no, poor Macaque. Oh no. Okay, I do feel bad for Macaque. Because I like Macaque. Oh. Wow. Getting a power up there. Ooh, okay. That's great. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 
macaque getting a power up right there. Okay, that is really exciting. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, that was really, really great. Definitely always gets, like, to an extra level of intensity whenever Macaque shows up, because, of course, he is just such a menacing force for them to be going up against, and especially whenever, like, even Macaque is very, like, scary to go up against, and then you just have Lady Bone Demon on a completely different level. Like, she is somehow so threatening of a presence that even whenever she just shows up, like, just for a little bit, she is just absolutely terrifying and that was very apparent there in that final scene and it's definitely interesting so McHack's got a power up here he's gonna be definitely pursuing them pretty hardcore near the end here because of course we only have episode 9 and 10 left of this season so he's gonna have to try to catch him in one of these two episodes and I'm assuming in the next one he's gonna find some way to maybe steal the Samadhi rings maybe get them to Lady Bone Demon and then my theory would be that maybe that's when it's going to be revealed that there was a fourth ring and that they don't have all of the power and then MK's team is going to have to try to go and get that final ring, find it somewhere. So very interesting. I'm assuming it's going to go in that sort of direction. That's what I would predict. Uh, but I like this episode that it gave Tane a chance to shine here because, yeah, the character, he is there for, like, some comedic relief moments, even though there's a lot of comedy in M er, in Monkey Kid as a whole for the show, but he definitely plays more into that and, of course, isn't as much on the front lines going up against characters or other, like, villains, but he took on Macaque here straight up and that was really impressive he did not back down and he stuck with the team so I mean, Tane's earned himself some respect just because of that, if he hadn't already, for all of the other amazing moments with that character. But yeah, I really like that, getting to see some development for him. And then I also really love that we go to the City of Lanterns, which just has to be one of the most amazing locations within Monkey Kid here. It looks so crazy, and the Lego set, I definitely do want to get that one. I mean, I've always wanted to pick up that set, but even more so now, seeing the entire city here, just just to have a part of it within that set is so cool. I love that they ride on like the pig-like train or the whatever you want to call it. I think that was really cool. So I do like that quite a bit. And yeah, there were a lot of great moments here and a lot of fun stuff going on in this episode. And it still pushed the plot forward here. We are, we have the third Samadhi ring. So what's going to happen now? I'm assuming something, like I said, to do with, like, there being a fourth hidden one, so really excited to see how they're going to explore that, but that's basically everything I have to say for this episode. I thought it was really cool when they bought the merchandise as well from the City of Lanterns. I thought that was great, kind of the history with it as well, how they have this giant lantern that's powered by the Samadhi Ring. I thought that was really intriguing also, so... A lot of cool stuff going around or going on in that sort of way. So I really enjoyed it there. I loved whenever they expand on the lore for the series. And I think they did a really good job of it in this episode. So yeah, that's everything I have to say for it. Let me know your thoughts on the episode down below in the comment section. Also, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you would like to check out my other reactions for Monkey Kid. I've done them all for seasons one, two, and three now. And we only have two more episodes remaining for this season. So so stay tuned for those as well on the channel. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you all next time. And always remember, keep on collecting.